In our video today, I want to talk to you about how to add a custom activity type in Dynamics 365 or Power Platform. In your timeline, your system will come with a couple great out-of-the-box activities, uh, mainly meetings or appointments, phone calls, and tasks. Now, a lot of organizations find custom activities a real way to enhance your system. So the same way you can log a phone call real quickly and easily from the timeline of any table, any area in Dynamics, you can do the same thing with a custom activity that's tailored to your organization and your industry. So let's dive in and show you how to build this at make.powerops.com. You're going to make sure that you're starting from a solution file. So I'm already in a solution file that I'm going to use to build our custom activity type. Click new at the top, scroll down to table, and then select table and we're going to create a display name. So I'm going to do this as lunch. We're going to assume that my organization likes to take potential clients out to business lunches and we want to track the status of that lunch as well as the outcome of it. So here we are with lunch. You'll use whatever makes sense for your organization, your industry. Click advanced options to expand all of these hidden options that aren't here. And what we want to look for is the type field. Now we're going to change this from a standard table, a standard entity, to an activity. So next thing we can do is choose an image. I always like to have a little custom image that will show up in my model-driven apps. So I'm going to go to new image web resource. I'm going to pick something that I saved to my download file. And this is lunch. The name is lunch. And we're going to click save. You don't have to do this. This is just like an added little extra step. So again, you don't need to add a custom web resource for your activity type, but for this one we did. Um, so here we are, lunch. And uh, if you want to add a color, you can do that as well. So let's grab this cool blue color here. And then there's another section of options here that are entirely up to you and what you want to turn on. So apply duplicate detection rules. That's checked by default. Keep it on. It's awesome to have duplicate detection. Uncheck it. If you want, you can track changes. If this is a business critical thing and you need to know the changes that are happening, allow knowledge management, provide custom help audit changes, and use quick create form if available. So check any of these if they make sense. You can set up SharePoint document management. Um, appear in search results can be taken offline. I'm just going to keep it the way it is, and I'm going to click Save here. That's creating my custom activity type of lunches with its fun little icon, and then we can start to show you what it's going to look like in the app itself. Now that lunch has been saved as a custom table defined as an activity type, I can start to manage this the same way that I would manage any table at Power App. So I can, for example, come into the columns to view all the columns that I currently have. I can add custom columns. I can navigate to the forms and I can change the fields displayed on the quick view. Then the main form, I also have the card form. I can build relationships to other tables. So there's a ton of stuff you can do. Let me just, before we part, show you what this looks like in our system. I've published my changes in the solution file. I didn't show you that because that's a boring part and it takes time. So here we are on our lead and I can click add and boom, here's lunch with my awesome little icon. And then I can come in here. I can add all the details of the lunch with Lily right here. And that's that. So super easy to build a custom activity type in Dynamics 365 and in Power Apps.